Hello friends and welcome to Inspiration Arts. My name is Saurav Sai. In today's video, I will show you how can you draw any portrait accurately from a photograph using an old video of Tiger Shroff portrait. So let's begin. So first of all, for drawing the face, we need to take the ratio of the portrait form of the head and the landscaping form means the height and width of the head. So we decide the height of the head by ourselves. Now, from the picture, we take the measurements and find that it is one third, the width is two third of the height. So, first we divide the head into four equal parts. After that, we take two equal parts and make the measurements for the third that is the width so this will give us the overall head measurement so after giving the overall head measurement we just need to block out the shape of the head as we see it in the picture so let's begin just the silhouette of the head as we see it it does not need to be perfect because in later stages we by measuring it we will refine the shapes and make it perfect just what we see we have to deliver it to the page use blocky lines and angles more than curves because it will help us to define the shape easily if we draw curves in all the areas where we see a bit of curve the actual shape does not come so well so we need to draw the angles instead of the curves after getting the overall shape of the head we need to see the measurements for the features and for now just Draw the ears as well as you can. Okay. After that, you draw the line for the hair. Here we can see from the image that the size of the forehead is almost but a bit larger than the shape of the head. Uh, head. So first take the shape of the uh, size of the forehead then dig a bit lower and then using the measurement draw the hair of the man. Drawing the basic shape of the hair is not so important in this part but still for getting a general idea we can draw the shape. After that we need to find the brow line. The next line from the forehead is the brow line. This is the place where the brow ridge will be placed. And the Third, second line from the forehead is the nose line. There the nose will be placed. Now, we need to see the angles of the face and using those angles, we need to define the features of the face. First, we need to see where the eye lies. So, for this, we need to measure the image and see where does the eye lies now we can divide this line the center line of the face from the nose into several different sizes we see that the eye lies in the first half of the nose and 
in this image we can also see that all the distances from the eyes are equal to the distances from the nose to the brow ridge and this all distances are equal. This gives us a really nice base for placing our eyes. Now looking at the image and judging the shape of eye we just draw the eye as we look at it. We do not need to draw the perfect shape at the first as we will refine the shapes when our overall face will be completed. So just draw the basic shape of the features too. After placing our eyes, now we need to look the shape of the brow and looking at the shape of the brow just place few lines for it now we think that the placement of the nose and other parts are done after this we need to see the placement of our nose for that we need to see the angle from the eyes to the nose. Just place your pencil in the picture from the eyes to the nose and judge the angle. After doing that just draw a line from the, from the eyes to the nose in the angle you judged first. So this will give us the edges of the nose where the line uh, of the nose and the angle intersects so using this just draw the shape of the nose roughly as you see it in the image try to match the likeness from now as it is beginning to take shape you can draw the other parts of the nose as the line of the nose etc but this looks okay till now. After this we need to take the height of the lips or where the lips will be placed. So for placing the lips we need to find the place where the lips has its middle line. So taking the measurements we can find that the lips is also at one third means if from the nose to the bottom of the chin there is one line it is at the first third of the line so at this place just draw a vertical line for the lip from this part you need to then judge the size of the lip for that you just take the angle from the nose to the lips and place it in the same way as you did for the nose and the eyes and this will give you the width of the lips this angles need to be measured just from the pencil roughly as in the next step we will define all the shapes and see all our placements are correct or not. Just draw the shape of the lips as you can see in the image as perfectly as you can otherwise we will refine all the shapes later. So after doing all this we have the general shape of the face and all other features of the face. This takes us to the third second part. So before going to the second part we need to also draw the other parts of this man that is his body. So for that draw another line from the center and 
take the size of the head and double it down there now we get a ship a measurement from which we can measure further now we see in the image that after this the size of the head is actually half to make the size of the shoulder so we always have to measure in head size because once we have established the head it is the base of our measurement so just half it and then we are ready to draw the shape of the shoulder which is just rounded i have decided to draw this picture specially because of the roundness of the shapes in this and this will help us to learn the shade and how to do rounded shapes perfectly okay just draw the shape of the tricep and other parts as you see it and now just roughly draw the shape of the t-shirt he is wearing okay so now the basic shape is actually done and just place few feet anatomical features as you see them in the body do not need to draw them perfectly just give some markings for the shapes okay so now we can see that the basic shape is almost complete and we can see the likeness of the image in the, in the drawing we have done so now is the time to erase all the markings and move further okay we do not need to rub it perfectly but as it is done erasing we just need to look at the picture and see where all the other shapes are present and just place it on our image as the main shapes are done now the smaller shapes could be placed easily just by looking at them and no more of measurement is much required now just now the main work is to perfect the shape of each and every feature we see here so just using the blocking technique we just do the perfecting of the shapes look at each planes which you can see and then perfect each and every shape of the face
coming to the lips we can see the two pointy planes and then comes the drop shape judge the shape with your eyes as great as possible and this will give you a base drawing that is reliable for future shading and details to be placed. Use the eraser in this stage as much as you want to perfect the shapes and until you see that they look perfect to you. Now look at the small anatomical details of the face like the folds of the eye, below the eyes and the nose and other plane changes. Now, as we can see there, there is the plane for the jawline. We need to remember all these planes for further drawing our uh, character or the portrait better and for making it look great while shading it. Also, refine any mistakes in drawing the jawline and other part of the face now you can also detailly draw the shape of the ear okay and place all that's inside it Okay, now place the moustache and the beard in its position. Just draw the overall shape of the moustache and you do not need to draw it perfectly as it will be done in the later stages. Okay, now we can see that the likeness is vis visible from our image to the picture we have drawn so now we can go further and do the other processes of shading and other things into this image <laughs> 